All right, uh, video number two in the series of four for nutrition. Today we're gonna discuss macronutrients. Last time we discussed basic habits. Uh, and when we talk about habits, we wanna talk about um, the things that drive us towards our goals or the things that keep us from our goals. And those are our basic habits. Um, our habits dictate our lifestyle and our lifestyle dictates our success. So just recapping that last video, and what we want to talk about now today is macronutrients. Um, and then there's also even micronutrients, which is like your vitamins, minerals, things like that. The more important one though, is we're going to discuss is macronutrients. Maybe you've heard of them, maybe you haven't. So what we're going to look at is um, today we're going to do get my trusty whiteboard out. Um, we're going to look at what are called um, the three main macronutrients, proteins, fats and carbs so you should have heard of all those by now and just now you'll start to understand the importance of them so what we're going to look at is what the importance of protein is what the importance of fat is and what the importance of carbs are and what roles they play in the body and how they're more important than calories okay so when we talk about um losing weight we either have fat loss or we have weight loss if you want to lose fat, you want to be able to focus on your macros. If you're just going to lose weight, you're going to focus on calories. So what that means is when you lose fat, that's what you're trying to do. That's primarily what you're going to be losing. And focusing on macronutrients is going to help with that. So when you lose weight, you can lose anything from muscle, which is the last thing that you want to lose, right? You'll lose strength. You'll lose muscle definition. You're going to lose tissue, uh, you're going to lose water weight. There's going to be other things that are going to contribute towards weight loss. You don't want to just lose weight. Uh, that means you're losing things that you don't want to. So the way that we tie this in is that when we look at protein, we need protein for muscle synthesis. We also need it to help preserve our muscles. Most women, even guys, are not getting enough protein in per day, nor do they know how much to get in. Um, and the same thing with healthy fats. Either you're scared of healthy fats or you don't even know what a healthy fat is. Uh, most people aren't getting enough of this in. Healthy fats is important because it helps your body function. It helps brain function. It also helps vitamin A, D, E, and K absorption, which all help proliferate and stabilize your hormones, which leads to fat loss. Uh, and last but not least, you have your carbs. Uh, carbs are not the devil. They're not this thing that you need to completely eliminate. Anybody that tells you you need different or if you read anywhere else, it's completely wrong. Uh, don't listen to that stuff, okay? You need carbs. Carbs are the preferred fuel source of your body. Now you need that for fuel for your workouts, for your daily activities, and also for recovery of your workouts. Um, <clears throat> the problem is, is most people are not eating enough of this or this, they're eating too much of this. The, the way that these foods interact with our bodies is different. So carbs are easily digestible usually. Um, they do give us energy, but they don't fill us up. And so the problem is, is we're constantly hungry and we eat and eat and eat. Now, when we look at fats, this is very satiating. It's very filling. So your avocados, your nuts, seeds, oils, butters, cheeses, those are all satiating. And they do take a little while for the body to process and break down. The same thing with protein, very filling. Uh, it does have a thermic effect, so it does raise your metabolism. So what we're gonna look at is eating more of this, more of this, and the right amount of these. Now, I know you're probably thinking, or you know, hopefully you're thinking, well, how much do I eat? Okay, great question. Uh, it's a pretty specific answer to each individual. So if you do want to know more and learn more, we have different resources for that. If you want or need more individual macro plans or attention, uh, we have that as well. So if you are thinking about looking at, I need more guidance, I want to learn how much protein, how much fats, and how much carbs I can eat each day, then we have that for you. You just need to come speak with me or one of my trainers and we'll get you hooked up. What we're gonna look at though is oftentimes overlooked, people go with calories because we can say, hey, just eat less. Well, again, if you're just eating less, you're not focusing on quality. You're just focusing on eating less. You could be eating less crap, 
but you're still not providing your body with what it needs to talk to itself, to function properly, um, to you know, work on all those biological functions that happen when we eat these things. So again, protein, muscle th synthesis, vitamin absorption, um, healthy hormone production, and then even fuel for, um, from your carbs. Now what we're gonna look at, as most people understand, is that your macronutrients will dictate your calorie intake. So with protein, what we have is per one gram of protein, we have four calories. For one gram of fats, you have nine cals. And then carbs for one gram, you have four cows. Okay, so let me just kind of show you how what that looks like. So again, in one gram of protein, you have four calories. So if you have 10 grams of protein, you have 40 calories. If you have 100 grams of protein, you have 400 calories. Now again, fats are a little bit higher, um, and that's where we can get in trouble. But knowing how much you're consuming, what your level should be, should make a huge difference. So again, in one gram of uh, healthy fat, you're gonna have nine calories. And then carbs, one gram is four calories. So again, carbs are not the problem, they're not the devil, they don't make you fat. Overeating makes you fat. Overeating keeps you from losing weight. Um, if you're eating ma uh, maintenance, you won't be losing or gaining. If you just eat at a small deficit following macros, you will lose fat. If you eat at a huge deficit, you're gonna lose weight, okay? So it's not about carbs being the bad for you or fats being bad for you or whatever that you've heard. It's about consumption. Over consuming anything, whether it's protein, fats, or carbs, they all have calories in them and it's a calorie balance at the end of the day. It's really that simple. But if you want to put on muscle, lean muscle, if you want to tone, if you want to feel better, if you want to perform better, you want to get these numbers straightened out a little bit, okay? So that's kind of how it works. And just to give you an idea of what it would look like, um, we're gonna say uh, standard female, I'd like to see um, about 130 grams of protein per day. We'll go about 60 grams of fats. And then we'll go about 100, just for easy, grams of carbs. Okay, so we, what we've got here is simple math. Having the right amount of protein is important. Having the right amount of healthy fats is important, and same thing with the carbs as well, okay? So there is percentages, and there's ways to figure this out. So what we're gonna say is I want, um, my client Mary, well, I want her to have 130 grams of protein per day at four calories per gram. That gives me 520 cows, okay? I also want her to have 60 grams of fat. That's nine cows though per gram. That's 540. And then last but not least, we're gonna go with 100 grams of carbs, easy peasy, 100 times four is? 400, seeing if you're paying attention. Okay, so now we add all that up. So I'm really bad at math. I think it's 520, 1,060. Uh, that's 1,460 calories. That's a good amount of food. And depending on your, your body composition, your activity level and stuff like that, that's a really decent range for most females. Now, what you wanna do is, if you're not losing any fat at that point after a couple weeks, what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna bring maybe just a little bit of the protein down a little bit. Uh, I like the fat where it's at, I like the carbs where it's at, we don't really need to change those. Probably come down the protein a little bit until you start to see the scale move, your body fat drop, your body composition starts to change. Now here's the last thing though. What happens is, is you're only gonna go so far where you can, you're gonna start removing out too many calories and you're gonna start losing muscle, you're gonna start losing uh, performance, you're gonna start losing function, brain function, energy, things like that. Now we don't wanna get that far. That's usually around the 1200 calorie mark or less. So at that point in time, we've brought your body fat percentage down. 
Uh, the next step would be to start eating more and start building more muscle. So when we do that, you're going to start getting that muscle definition, definition and tone that you're looking for. Your weight will go back up, but it'll be primarily in muscle and not a little bit of body fat. And then what's going to happen is you can only go so far with that. Then we remove your body fat a little bit more by going into a small deficit and we cycle it out until you get the body that you want. It's really quite simple, but it just takes time. It takes um, an educated stance and uh, focus on that as well. So again, that's your quick um, uh, demonstration and 101 for macros. Uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to let us know. Again, proteins, fats, and carbs, and uh, we'll see you on the other side for your next level of nutrition. All right, thanks.